Hey teachers, Lindsay Bowden here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert task cards into digital self-checking task cards that you can use for Google Classroom. Now, let me preface this by saying, if you have purchased task cards from Teachers Pay Teachers or another online source, please, please make sure that you are abiding by the terms of use for that seller. If you convert these to digital, make sure that does not violate their terms of use and especially make sure that you do not publish these task cards on a public website. Normally, like for me, if I sell task cards and I do in my Teachers Pay Teacher store, if a teacher was going to convert my task cards to digital, that would be fine as long as they publish them on a password protected website. So make sure that you follow the terms of use and let's get started. All right, so here are some task cards that I have open here, and I created these, and I have converted them to a PDF. So usually when you purchase task cards, they will be in PDF format, which is great. So the first thing that you wanna do is take pictures of each individual task card. So in order to take a picture, if you are on a Mac like I am, I'm gonna press Command-Shift-5, and I can drag the picture where I want it to go. If you are on a PC, then you're gonna to wanna to use the snipping tool to take a picture. So I'm gonna do that for each task card. Now this will take a little bit of time, but the good thing is once you've done this once, then these task cards can be used over and over. So I'm just gonna do three just to show you guys. So I would do that for all of the task cards. And then I'm going to open up Google and I'm going to make sure I'm logged into my account. You do need a free Google account in order to make these digital task cards. And I'm going to go to Forms. And then once I'm in Forms, I'm going to open up a blank form. And I'm going to call this Right Triangle Task Cards. And then you can put instructions for students, answer each question, round to the nearest tenth. Okay, so what you wanna make sure you do, a couple things. You wanna click the wheel, the settings wheel right here, and you want to unclick this because you don't want students to have to sign in through your account. You want them to be able to sign in through their own personal Google account. And then you also wanna to go to quizzes and make sure this is on, make this a quiz. That will make this self-check. So it will self-grade it for them when they submit it, it will show them their grade, and then you can also see their grade. And then I'm gonna click save. Okay, so for my first question, what I'm gonna do is click the picture here, and I'm going to insert the first picture that I took right here. And then once that loads, I'm just gonna call this A. You can write instructions if you want. Um, solve for X, round to the nearest tenth. Or you can just leave it A since it says solve for X on the actual card. Now, there's a couple options that you can do here. You can do short answer where they just type in the answer, or you can make it multiple choice, and then you create the different options for the multiple choice. That would be good if your students are great with rounding or you're afraid they're gonna type it wrong. The multiple choice is just a little bit easier for students. But I'm gonna keep this short answer. I'm gonna make sure that this is clicked so that they have to answer this question. And then I'm gonna click down here where it says answer key. And I'm just gonna say that X is 7.5. And I'm going to mark all other answers incorrect. So if they put anything else, they won't get this question right. And then over here, you want to change the point value to whatever you want it to be. I'm just gonna keep it as one point. And then click done. Once you have completed the first question, the easiest way to do the next question is just to duplicate. So right here by the trash can, you wanna click duplicate. And I'm just gonna change this so it says B, and I'm going to add the task card B. All right, once that opens, if you need to change the instructions, it says solve for the missing side, so I'm gonna change this to solve for Y. And again, you want to add the answer, so let's say that this is 4.9. And it should already have all your other settings done. So then you click done and you're good to go. Once you have all of these completed, all of the task cards added, you wanna click over here and usually if you just click in the title, it will automatically populate the title from what you put here. So you wanna make sure there's a title. 
And then you can send it to your students right here with this send button. So if you have a Google Classroom, you can send it to them via Google Classroom. If not, you can send it via email or you can send them a link, like post a link on Schoology. The only thing that you have to make sure is if you want this to grade and you want to see the grades. So you want to see student A got this grade. You have to use Google Classroom. If not, you'll just see responses, but you won't see the student's name beside the response.